Okay, welcome back to the Christian Foundation course. We're up to study number 21. Let's, and it's the first study, might I say, of our foundation for faith towards God. Let's get straight into it, shall we? We're going to Matthew 3, verse 1, and we're just going to see what John the Baptist preached when he came to prepare the way for the Lord Jesus Christ. In those days... John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, and this is what he said, Repent, we know what repent is, don't we? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So first he wanted people to repent, and then he wanted people to believe. Now we're going to turn to Mark 1 and verse 14, where Jesus begins his Galilean ministry. Remember, our subject is faith toward God. And this is how Jesus began his ministry, and so should we. Now, after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Now, what's the gospel of the kingdom of God? Well, this is what it was before he was crucified. And saying, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. It's coming. Repent. And believe in the gospel. Now what's gospel mean? It means good news. What's the good news? That for us. That everything that was needed to be done between mankind and God was fulfilled at the cross. At the crucifixion of Jesus. So first you've got to turn in your mind and believe. Find a way of believing. Researching and believing that what Jesus has done, he has done for you. So like John... Jesus preached a message of first repent. And let's just remember that repent's a change of your mind um, away from things that uh, are not necessarily believing in God to find a way through research, I believe, and revelation of who Jesus is, finding a way to believe in that and enjoying the good news, not the bad news, but the good news of what Jesus has done. So continuing on our theme, Faith Toward God, we go to Matthew 21 now and verse 31 uh, in the middle of the verse. We just come through the parable of the two sons and Jesus, and this is halfway through verse 31. We'll just skip that parable at this point. Jesus said to them, Assuredly I say to you, the tax collectors and harlots enter the kingdom of God before you. Why? Because they were believing what John was saying. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. What was the way of righteousness? He was preaching the message of the Messiah. Jesus was coming. And they didn't believe, but the harlots and the tax collectors did. But the collect tax collectors and harlots believed him. And when you saw it, you did not afterward relent or repent and believe in him. So whilst the tax collectors and harlots were repenting and believing, the religious people were not. So John preached repent and believe, Jesus preached repent and believe, and now the twelve are getting sent out. Let's see what they preached. We'll just go down to, we're in Mark 6, but we'll go down to verse 12. Just go to verse 12. So they went out, this is the twelve, they went out and preached that people should repent, and they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick, and healed them. So they preached that the people should repent. Repent what? Re in some cases, repent away from the law and towards the Messiah. Or, and, but in most cases, it was repent away from your sin, recognize your sin, and move towards God. And now we turn to Acts 20, and we're going to go to verse 21. Um, I'm going to start in... No, we'll go to verse 21 because it'll get too complicated otherwise. So this is the Apostle Paul. What did he preach? This is what he preached to the Jews and also to the Greeks. Testifying to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. So the repentance is towards God, but our faith is towards the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing else but the Lord Jesus Christ. And in Acts 26... And verse 20 we read, this is Paul the Apostle again, But I declared first to those in Damascus and in Jerusalem and throughout all the region of Judea and then to the Gentiles that they should repent 
and turn to God and do works befitting of repentance. And on that note, that's the first study on faith towards God. Um, please like or comment or subscribe even. But thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next talk. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment if you watched it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.